welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is dream but i also go by dreaming sims and today i am so excited to present to you a new let's play series on my channel so as you can see there is a girl on my screen and her name is willow downing and she is a level five in the architect designer career a little backstory behind willow is that she grew up in brindleton bay in a suburban home with her family her parents are happily married and she has a younger brother who she is very close to she grew up in a household that was full of laughs and brutal honesty but some things do not always last well. Willow has secrets that haunt her ability to remain in one place. As a result she tends to run away from her problems rather than face them. In the last city she lived in San Myshuno she was in a relationship that did not end so well. Months after being proposed to she found out he cheated on her. Desiring a new start Willow decided it was time to move away from all that mess into a quaint and dainty town called Windenburg. That way I'm hoping Willow can have a fresh start on everything right so in this let's play there's gonna be a lot of lore because um <laughs> the sims 4 couldn't <laughs> now that we've heard a little bit about willow i want to give some background on the town windenburg it is a dainty small knit town for the elites people who aren't elite of course live here but it is not that easy when you're not in power so let's meet the elites and we'll find out more of their traits later on as we get to know the people in the town and possibly secrets too these guys are referred to as the elegant so so Anna is definitely the diva of the town, but also comes from a powerful family background, so no one tells her what to do except Lewis Kim and we'll learn about him shortly as well as the princess. She's an influencer who spends most of her time with Lucy and James as she would put it. <laughs> I don't think they're uh, friends in her eyes, just people she looks down on because like who doesn't she look down on anyways <laughs> lucy dreams of becoming a wellness instructor and thankfully because of her parents money she owns her studio she is close friends with anna and james she loves shopping and fashion and hopes to own her own athletic clothes line for women one day now looking at james he comes from generations of wealth and definitely is not afraid to boast about it he is very close friends with anna and lucy well, maybe has some other feelings for Lucy that she definitely doesn't know about. Anyway, James thrives on his family's money, so he enjoys most of the time doing all sorts of activities like golfing, vacationing, going to parties slash clubs. Anywhere he can be the social butterfly that he is, he is there. Desiree is a really well-rounded girl. Um, she has unspoken beef with Anna Kaplan. It's mostly coming from Anna, where they both come from very powerful families, and so Anna is always competing with Desiree in anything but anyways Desiree is an aspiring lawyer so she is definitely in the lawyer career and very much so focuses on her studies but at nighttime she becomes a whole other thing she loves going out to parties all the time in nightclubs so definitely if we become friends with Desiree she will have us in a nightclub somewhere grinding on a dude but moving on <laughs> Moving on to Autumn MacArthur, she is not like the other prestigious people of the town. She used to be a part of the elegance, but noticed she couldn't quite fit in with a group like that. So beating to her own drum, she lives life to the fullest and from time to time she loves bothering her quiet brother Vincent MacArthur. So now moving on to the princes, we have Tomas Owain Santiago. Man, I don't know why I made his name so long guys, but anyways. <laughs> So Tomas is in the line of royals, yet he doesn't carry a sense of ego like most in the town. He owns an art gallery where he puts on shows displaying his art. However, the pressures of following his father's footsteps are growing day by day. Louis was not born into riches, but he made his own way up. He's an investor who also owns his own restaurant in Windenburg. Yes, he is a fine dine cook. Kim appears to be cold hearted, but has a heart of gold. And only those who get real close to him find that out. Now with Vincent, even though the women of the town place him in the group of the princes, he is not that close to Tomas and Louis. In fact, he really doesn't get along with Tomas at all. He's often a soft hearted individual who loves music and singing. Everyone in Windenburg is obsessed with his voice and even though 
goes outside of the town. Even though he is popular, he keeps to himself a lot and spends a lot of time writing lyrics and spending time with his sister too. And when his sister is not bugging him, he is spending time with Ivan Shepard. Now Ivan and Desiree are related. Now Ivan is Desiree's older brother. Speaking of that, actually there is three of them. They have an older brother. So Ivan is the middle child and then Desiree is the youngest. Ivan is in the acting career. Ivan is a sweetheart and definitely really good with words. So I'm thinking we best believe we got to watch out for him too. Definitely gives me womanizer vibes, but like if we get really close to him or things develop there, I think he's very loyal. We'll see though, let's hope. And once again, we will find out more about their traits later on as we get to know each person and possibly their secrets too. Now we're gonna tour Willow's apartment. At first, when you walk in, you have like a little entrance way. She's kind of still packing slash unboxing things. Then have the guest bathroom it's pretty plain i know but i really didn't know what to really put in this approaching the kitchen and dining room here we are we have a wine rack and a little sign that says hotel Perrine and the kitchen which i absolutely love i love how this kitchen turned out we have the living room which i kind of struggled with to get a concept for but what i really do like is the tv frame moving on we have the bedroom kind of left a little simple too as well and then her storage area of her suitcases because she just moved in and this is definitely my favorite part of this build. I think the balcony is so cute and we will definitely be spending some moments there. Next, we have the office area. She will be spending days at work, but the days when she's not, she is booed up in her little nook and cranny area because she is a homebody and likes to spend time to herself a lot. And then here's her, I don't know what you would call this, but something that she uses to kind of build layouts for designs. And then her office area. This is Willow's bathroom. Probably like my favorite build that I've done bathroom wise for an apartment. And since Willow has settled in pretty well, we're gonna just like go out and meet people in the city. The cafe, this cafe can be found on the Sims Gallery. It is the cutest thing ever. What? <laughs> okay, if you're wondering, I have a lot of bald Sims right now because I am currently switching from Alpha CC to Maxis Mix. I promise it will be fixed eventually. Ooh, uh, there's someone we could meet there too. Let's see. We need to make some like girlfriends because we are definitely missing our girlfriends from the city. Let's see what we thought about her. Okay, they both perceive each other as interesting. There's just, oh, not the bald head. Hopefully they become friends. That would be cool. A lot of people in this coffee shop. We did come here to get some work done. Like I said, Willow just moved into the town. She was an architect designer in the city and she was able to transfer to a company out here in Windenburg. So hopefully when I get the Zerbu careers installed, we could follow her to her job. Right now she's just catching up on emails before she has to go into her first day of work in Windenburg. Not gonna lie, I wish I had this view <laughs> going to work. Like that would be so nice, not gonna cap. And Willow is definitely getting tired. So we are gonna head back home, not the glitch. Head back home and get ready for the big day tomorrow. I'm gonna go off to bed. It's 6 a.m. and we're gonna get ready for work slash eat because she is definitely hungry. Be sure to fill her needs before she goes to work or else that'll be a hot mess. But something to know about Willow is that she is not a good cook at all. So I'm kind of scared how this is gonna turn out. Hopefully she doesn't like, I mean, you can't set a fruit salad on fire girl or burn it or anything. So 
that should be very easy. Her mom was definitely the cook in her family, but she did not take on that trait. Girl, what is going on? Not the hands. Willow, Willow, sweetheart. Yeah, so she's not the cook. That's very clear. Right now, eating and getting ready for the day. Work starts in an hour. So I'm trying to think whether she should work from home or go to work. I'm thinking we should work from home. See what that's like. Okay, so we have to read a handiness book for her job. Oh, dang, you finished that fast. All right, well, clean it up. Oh my gosh, we already owe bills. We just moved in. All right, so we're gonna work from our office today. First, we're gonna check work emails. And then we have a Zoom meeting at nine. So girl, you need to hurry up because you are gonna be late. <laughs> I'm really hoping today is our chance. She has no idea about the elites, by the way. We only do. But I'm really hoping that we can meet them because I'm trying to, you know, get her to slide. Make some connections. Hopping on to her Zoom meeting in her PJs. Hopefully she has her camera turned off because that's not a look. I mean, who doesn't attend a Zoom meeting in their PJs if they don't have to turn their camera on? After she's done attending the Zoom meeting, we're gonna get ready for the day. Oh, it looks like she's done, cool. We're gonna get ready for the day because this ain't a look. I'm gonna take a shower. We have to do like one task today. I'm planning on honestly going out and exploring the city once again. We need to meet more people. As much as she's a homebody, she also loves meeting new people and really feels alone now that she's been in this new city. So I'm thinking that we really need to start reaching out more, looking in new areas and seeing who we can meet. We are dressed for the day and we're just going to go out and explore our new area that we're in. Probably gonna get some food, honestly, or you know what? It's hot outside, so she's gonna get a drink. Not him. It's the way he set that glass down. Like, are you okay? Are you happy? You looked a little mad. You looked a little pressed. But anyways, we're gonna drink our drink and then get back to work. And after going to work, we're actually gonna go into the city of Windenburg. Willow lives outside of that city because it's a lot cheaper to live there because Windenburg can definitely be really pricey. Not disappointing drink. I mean, the way he set that down, who knows what he put in that drink. Okay, so we've made it into the town Windenburg. Now let's hope we meet some new people. Speaking of that, girl, hold on. <laughs> a breathtaking encounter. From seeing an attractive sim, Willow's eyes were caressed by a truly magnificent sight as a particularly appealing sim just entered her view. This fine specimen of a sim now has Willow's undivided attention as they try to pick their jaw up from the floor. There are heart pounding moments, but this one here is heart stopping. Oh my goodness. Who could that be? Hold on. So sorry you feel so uncomfortable. I promise when you get back home, we will take care of those needs. Yes. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I kind of feel like because we just got a really good luck throw. Hopefully that means that we'll find a partner who is not gonna cheat on us. I feel like right now she's like, man, I really hope this time I find somebody good who will actually treat me right and not treat me like dirt. So we are just, oh my gosh, wait. Look who it is over here. Maybe this is who she found super attractive. I don't wanna like interrupt him, so let's watch for now. He's killing it though, low key. Oh, oh, he's done. Okay, okay, let's talk to him. 
Uh, not talk about love, girl. That's a little too soon. Maybe like a friendly introduction. Oh, how do we know him already? What the heck? Oh, let's just get to know him. How about that? Oh my gosh, she does find him attractive. Kiss hands. Girl, no. I'm sorry, but I think he is just so fine. Like, what? <laughs> he is so fine. Okay, let's get to know more about him. See his traits and everything. See if he, like, like you know, <laughs> wants to slide. No, I'm joking. Let's see if he wants to go into the bar with us, but let's just kind of get to know him from the outside because we know more about him, but Willow has no idea who this guy is and what group he's a part of. I kind of want to know what he thinks of us. You can see here his traits. I don't know once again how we got all this information from him, but I'm, um, it's fine. He is gentle, music lover, and mysterious. Hmm. Build friendships slightly slower, yet build romance fast because of their mysterious look. And he's a singer at Music HQ. Girl, I'm about to boot you out of this conversation. Like, Rory, get out of here. You're ruining a potential mate, okay? It's the way my sim came into the conversation, like, Rory, back up. <laughs> You're such a smart person. It's always impressive to hear you speak. Ooh, thank you. That means a lot to me. I try to approach things from a thoughtful and informed perspective see if oh yes it still works so we're good huh hold on <laughs> it was me testing the first impressions thing and not you having a crush on this grown man I imagine him to be like 50 like what is going what is going on i did not know you were into older men maybe you'll like ivan and desiree's older brother because what is going on i imagine willow to be like 24 so for her to be all up in this man no not the crush ignore cancel you're dismissed anyways now i think we're gonna now that's 5 40 it would be cool to grab some food and go to the bar and hopefully he comes with i'm really hoping all right let's see not there being no um bartender here how are we supposed to get drinks is there a downstairs to this oh this is sick i bet this is where vincent kind of comes in in the town and you know does his little jams like sings for everybody that's so cute so a little backstory actually about this whole little town of windenburg this is actually the original city and as you can see even in the background this is what it originally looked like and then when the elites started coming in think of them as like the land grabs how the land grabs come in everywhere and just destroy neighborhoods and make them their own kind of aesthetic that is exactly what happened um speaking of anna kaplan's family her parents are in the politician world and they decided to completely renovate Windenburg. So the only thing really that is left is this city to like keep the old feel to it. But everything else is kind of turning into like Paris or London feel. So we will see how much it's changing and moving away from the original Windenburg. Oh, there's a bar right here. Ooh, yes. Okay, slay. Ooh, it's a happy hour. So yeah, we're gonna get a drink. I'm really hoping he comes in here. I will cry if he doesn't. This prose prop looks really good. Or the silent film. We'll, we'll get that. Look at how cute, guys, this bar is. Uh, I love everything about this. No, he needs to get away. I think he I think he knows that we low-key have a fake crush on him. That shouldn't even be there. Listen, I need you to be Vincent, not Enrique, okay? No. This guy is actually really good at bartending. Like most of my Sims, usually they be breaking glasses. He's actually really good. Hope he like comes in here because that would be great. Maybe we need a little drink in us to get us some courage to like invite him in. Maybe he's not even out there anymore. My Sim has to go pee. Where is a uh, restroom? Is this the restroom? Please tell me. Oh, I'm lost. Is this the restroom? <gasps> yes. Okay, let's go. 
Okay, yeah, go to the bathroom. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm glad Enrique's leaving. Goodbye. You are way too old for my sim. <gasps> oh my gosh, look who it is. Autumn's here. We need to go introduce ourselves because I don't know where her hot brother went. I mean, where her brother went. Hello, <laughs> businessman. Why are you so scared, child? Bear's night, what is bear night? I'm complimenting our sense of style because it looks cute. Let's see. Oh, crap. Wait, I want to see what she thinks of us. I'm scared, guys. We have good compatibility. <gasps> this is crazy. Okay. Willow's sentiments about Autumn annoying? Willow. Oh, no. First impression. Crush. She has a crush on us? Oh, snap. And then she finds us interesting. Cool. Well, Will has no idea about that. So that actually will be really interesting in storyline because, yeah, there are some things that we don't know about Autumn. That's insane. Okay. Cool. Oh, my gosh. Are they on a date? <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Stop. Please Please don't come at me, guys. But why do I feel like this is definitely like a sugar baby, sugar daddy situation? Looking a little sad. You look a little trapped, but slay. So they both dipped, but we got a pretty good relationship going on with Autumn and a really good one going on with Vincent. I am sad because I wanted to spend more time with him. That was a pretty good meeting, and we met a lot of new people today in general, other than the elites. The elites were top tier, but it's fine. Like, we, oh, no sim likes being around deadly animals, but this bear seems more annoying than threatening. I agree, so let's dip. Okay. Yeah, it's time to dip. What is going on? No, it's time to go home. Willow's like, listen, I already have strained myself being out here with all these people. Like, it's time to go home. Like, I don't want to be here. Are back home, and I can tell Willow is so much happier to be here and not hanging out with some random people dressed up in bears. It was a relatively slow day, but it was successful in the fact that we were able to meet some of the elites, not some, but just two of them, and kind of like make connections with them. Willow doesn't know exactly who they are. She definitely doesn't know how much power they hold or group yet, but I think she'll find out soon eventually, like really hoping she does. Are you actually getting better at cooking? No freaking way. I mean, you're just making a salad. It really should not be that hard. I am so proud. But anyways, her view of her like place, guys, she has such a good view of everything. I wish. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. This has been a new adventure, being in a new place. It is definitely not her norm as she is very much a city girl, but she's starting to really like the idea of being in a quiet town as she is a homebody and it's definitely very peaceful to her soul after the traumatic breakup that she had. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. Wait, hold on. Look, Willow's like, did you hear that? Willow did. <gasps> Wait. Stop. Willow. There's no way the male guy is coming in this late. Let's see what this is about. What the heck? Willow. Come over here, girl. Get your mail. Okay. All right. It says... You are invited to the annual Kaplan Foundation Masquerade Ball. Wait, <laughs> listen, Willow's from the city. She's like, girl, what? No, that doesn't even make sense. And who's the Kaplan Foundation? Like, what the hell? She's like, what is going on? I guess in the next episode, we're going to a ball. So uh, now that Will's gotten ready for bed, she's just thinking about like, who is this person? How did they even get my address? And now we're invited to a masquerade ball? Like what the heck is going on? And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this first video of this Let's Play. Next episode, we'll be going dress shopping, 
figuring out or trying to figure out who the heck sent us this invitation. Is it real? We did meet the MacArthur, so maybe we can ask her next episode what the heck is going on and see where we go from there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, or subscribe to see more, and I cannot wait till you guys see this next episode. It's gonna be really good. 